Hey Assalamualaikum, there are many types of parenting styles in this world. Whether we like it or not, we tend to inherit our parents' parenting styles with the way we were raised. Even though there are many cultures differences of parenting styles in this world, Mahatma Gandhi once says that every home is a university and the parents are the teachers. So today, me, Ahmad Isham, we're going to talk about three differences parenting culture between Asian parents and Western parents, which is differences on punishing their children, learning, and life at home. So, to begin with it, let's take a look at the differences on punishing their children from Asian perspective and Western perspective. Firstly, from Asian perspective, they will teach their children to obey them by using the rotten can or rotab, which was frequently used at home and school to enforce discipline. The cane was used when their children were messed up or doing a problem. Every single parent at most of Asian countries at Asian region will always prepare one or two rotten can at their home. This is intent to discipline their children to always keep their behavior well and educate them to become more polite. Besides being can by rotten can, they also discipline their children by yell at them. This is because by raising their voice to their children, it will make their children more alert to not making any mistakes at home. Punishment was inevitable. Their children will get yelled or canned by their children, by their parents, when they did anything wrong. When it comes to punishment, it will always hurt, but at the same time, it will make their children more disciplined. After that, from the Western perspective, they will teach their children by mostly by with timeouts, with their children where their children will separate from play or socialize with their friends to spend some time to reflecting what they did wrong. This is because they believe that sh children should not feel pain because it will affect their children's emotional development. In fact that in some of western countries, hitting a children is against the law and parents can be sentenced to imprisonment or fines from the courts. Now that you understand what Asian and Western parents has taught us about punish punishment their children. Now let's take a look to some lesson to uh, imposed by Asian and Western parents about learning or education. From Asian perspective, they will become more strict when it comes to education. This is because they believe that education is an equal to a bright future for their children. And also, from the young age, the competition is inevitable between siblings, cousins, or friends. They tend to compare their children to the other children. Their children also being sent to math, language, science, and music classes from the young age to increase their children's ability. Then, from the Western perspective, they may appear to be more lenient when it comes to children's education. To them, the pressure from the school will detrimental their children's development. They believe that a holistic education will give their children situation to explore and develop themselves. They also tend to emphasize on self-development rather than academic success. But that there is no research to support either one of these learning styles. So now we can see that Asian and Western parents taught us the importance of the education to their children. Now let's take continue by looking at what they taught their children about life at home. From Asian perspective, their children were typically used used by doing used, used doing a household chores such as washing their own plates, sweeping, mopping, and doing laundry at an early age. They believe that it is a progress or one step for their children to be more responsible, independent, and organized. It also helping them to be to minimize their boredom at home. With this kind of ability, with this kind of responsibility, it will avoid them to become lazy. In Western perspective, they have been raised their children by not doing their house house. Course, because some of the parents don't want their children to be burdened 
and they feel like it was too much effort to supervise them. The costs for them are laborious for the children and they believe that having children to perform the course is like to abuse them. There is the statement which states that the, the children only do the household course after being scoped by their, children, their parents and it is usually done under pressure. From the, from the point that I gave earlier, it shows that there is a differences between the parenting life at home by Asian parents and Western parents which they have their own perspective on raising their children. In conclusion, Asian parents and Western parents emphasize their three things on parenting, which is how they are punishing their children, how they educate their children, and how they treat their children' uh, life at home. From both of uh, parenting styles, we can tell that they have their own perspective and each parenting method has their own advantage and disadvantage. Parenting is two-way learning process and I think, we, I think the way parents teach and raising their children is depending on the environment and not everyone has the same privilege. From the Hadith Riwayat Muslim, the Prophet Nabi Muhammad SAW says that play with them for the first seven years of their life then teach them for the next seven years then advise them for the next seven years and after that i think that's all the point that i can give in this video until next time 